Street, one of the longest streets in Christchurch, well, this is the longest street in Christchurch. Uh, we'll be going up and down it a few times. When Brian was saying we've got no stakes, we've got no stakes in Cock Eyes, like I said. Any four legged animal you've seen in New Zealand has been introduced. Uh, they're all introduced. Including possums, thank you very much, Australia. Including lorries, thank you very much, Australia. Um, uh, the, the wallabies are a real pest, and so the rabbits, yeah. yeah, yeah. On one farm alone, they got inundated with uh, rabbits, and they poisoned them with Mesopotamia, and they killed 150,000 rabbits just in one strike. Uh, but they had to abandon the farm later on because it got too bad. good thing about being like the um, I've also changed a lot so by having we've got these side boys here um, and we've got these every time well within two months the city changes because it's new buildings coming up all the time but at the time they were originally going to after the earthquake you know, as Brian said what do you want in your city and we said we want the arts and like all those city stories and they did this beautiful plan with Fantastic. And they said, well, who's paying for it? The government said, we've only got so much money. The council said, we've only got so much money. So it's back to the drawing board. And it's gone on for what? We're going to see the cathedral later on. Well, it's only about, roughly I forget time, about nine months ago that they finally decided what they're going to do with the cathedral. Because the idea was to completely bulldoze it. We're also going to restore it as it was. We're also going to restore it and make modifications to it. And I finally decided to restore it. The same with the stadium, which we'll see later on. Uh, that stadium was going to be covered, then it wasn't going to be covered. Um, it's going to have 30,000 odd people, then it's going to have this. Uh, the average price is a house. They say the average price now is a million dollars in Christchurch, but that depends where you are. Uh, you can get a good house here for about seven hundred thousand dollars. But like there's some penthouses in town that one just got sold for five million dollars. So it goes from you can get one for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars right up to five million. Like you said, it just depends the size and location of the house.
straight ahead we've got a building, you'll see it as we turn right. And this is one of the new buildings, new recreation building. Um, and you see it's got all scaffolding here. Now again, this has been delayed because um, they discovered that like a super old swamp, there's also a brewery on those two dollars sixty two cents and that's the cheapest it's been for a long long time during covid it was over three dollars a litre yeah. so we're now on more i'll say what it looks like so it's, uh, it's a just told brian because my wife is a guide also, he's not allowed to tell my wife that I sit about the shoes. Otherwise I'll be in the gold box for quite a while. I'm getting used to it now. This earthquake's happening all the time in New Zealand. Well, remember what happened in Fukushima? Go in Japan, they had a nuclear plant, and they had an earthquake, and they had all that devastation. So until they get the nuclear plant so that they don't come off radiation, We'll never have you to a here in New Zealand because, you know, it'd just be a disaster waiting to happen. Okay, this is Hackman Park here, and um, it's uh, 407 acres. It's got 22 different sports in it. Um, there's a track around there that depends what you read. It's either 6.1 or 7 kilometers long. And Brian will tell you a bit more about that track around there and a little story with it. I won't steal your thunder, Brian. <laughs> and um, it's also got a golf course, and the golf course is 12 holes. The regular golf course is 18 holes. And the last six holes, I've got two flags on them, so you can play the first and then you play the, the second thing. The reason for that is they wanted the rugby grounds there. They had rugby grounds, but they wanted the rugby grounds, so went back from 18 holes to 16 holes. Good we'll street art, and we'll show you some of the street art. Uh, they brought an artist here um, to try and line up like they had the, the giraffes and all that. And they brought an artist from around the world to to, do, um, to just liven up the, the place with the street art. Uh, they even had a dance in that where you could dance and all that. Prince Charles came here and he danced on the dancer mat. Not very eloquently, I might say, but uh, still. Okay, now look, we've had another tragedy here, which we have heard about the Panama Mosque. And, um, and um, it was on a Friday at 2 o'clock when the, um, they were all in the rain and this lone gunman came in with a submachine gun and he killed 51 people. Uh, we'll slow down so you can see it. He then went round to a, another mosque on outside of town called number 7 people. Um, he made matters worse, they called him about 10 minutes after the second one. But when he got caught, he said, oh, there's another six gunmen. And that caused even more tragedy because they didn't want to come in here for a start because they thought there was more gunmen, so they could clear it first and they thought, huh? But we're coming up to mosque now. This is the mosque now. You wouldn't see it on the news. This is the other one there. But he waited till 2 o'clock and they had three or so people and all the children. Okay. Now, this is the mosque. We like here in Australia now if you can crush your gun laws and all that, we're not allowed to see the automatics and all kinds of things. You should have had the same tragedy. Okay, back on to better news now. We're coming up to Mona Vale. Now, Mona Vale Deans was the first one that brought farm out here, uh, land out here, and he sold four acres. And then in uh, 1910, a woman bought it and she bought another nine acres, so there's 13 acres of land. Now it's changed ownership over the years, but in 1938, the Guthrie's bought it, now they're a very rich family, and they started to include gardens, the rose garden, the, 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 uh, the, the lily ponds, um, the bathhouse and all that. Then in 1962, the Mormon church bought it, and they had it for a few years, and in 1968 they decided they were going to demolish the whole lot 
I put in housing. Um, and of course that would have been a real travesty. So the rest of Christchurch said no way. And so Christchurch City Council did it. So it's now owned by the Christchurch City Council. Um, when we go through, I'll, I'll be taking the lead, Brian will be taking the rear, and we'll go through, and as we walk through, we'll show you uh, on the right, very important building toilets. Uh, on the left, there's the, um, the rose garden and the lily pond. Go around to the front of Mona Vale, have a look, I'll be going around there. Beautiful views of the Avon River, and then you can walk up, but don't go past the second bridge, please. Uh, last year, Actually, drivers on both occasions, I think, they lost people. People have gone the wrong way or have gone to more house there. And you see we do it count and we have to wait and you know, um, the wife's on the bus and she had to stay behind. Um, so make sure you follow us, don't get the wrong direction, but please don't go past the second bridge. Now, if you get to the second bridge and walk back, you'll go over two bridges, but when you get back, you'll see a sign on the right. If you go in there, the will take take the lily con, and you walk through and then take to the rose garden. So you can do a circuit if you wish. But I'll, I'll be leading in the front, okay? Uh, can you come back at 25 to 11? This is Christchurch Girls High. Uh, Sportsman. Now, Nick. Some place get people saying come past run or something like that. They're not got Australian, so they do that. If anyone's not Australian, I'll apologise, sorry, but we're assuming you're all Australian, so yeah. there might be some uh, uh, problems. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is go back to the um, go zigzag through the city. And I understand there are some people who want to get off this bit after we've done that. Is that right? Anybody down here want to get off? Kids here on a Saturday morning or whatever for sport, you just park and there's the tree tech guys over there now on the left. You just uh, the later you arrive, the further you've got to park around uh, park in the surrounding streets. So it's um, it's a long uh, just used for everybody, just for the use of Christchurch people. Now I said that you know it's all the, the use of Christchurch people. Well, we the cricket ground. We lost our cricket ground when the earthquake went off, and the Canada Cricket Association wanted to put the ground in Hackney Park. Unfortunately or unfortunately they managed to get their way with the people of the city, although a lot of people didn't want them doing that. There's no sporting association whilst they use the park, owns any part of the park. Coming down here we even further another four or five hundred yards. over the upstairs or downstairs. Okay, it's alright, fine. So uh, on the left hand side there behind those trees is um, grass tennis court. <coughs> and coming up on the right hand side you'll see the uh, light standards from the cricket ground. Now the cricket ground is a um, is a um, boutique type ground. It's just got grassy banks and with 
so there's no real stands in there. But one of the things the Cricket Association did say, we won't put any opening night standards up. Well, you'll be able to see the opening night standards if you look to your right. You just along here, the cricket ground's just on your right hand side in a second. So people, some people are not happy about the cricket being in there. That's the Botanical Gardens on the left hand side with the Avon River flowing through it there on your left. And coming up down here is our hospital. The good news was on the earthquake, the hospital survived and stayed up. And um, which was very, very important. So this is what they're going to make it. They're sort of trying to build the city, as John said before, to a certain hubs or precincts. So this is the health hub down here. And I'll just show you. So on the left-hand side coming up here now, this is a new hospital building that's been built since the earthquakes. Got a helipad up on the top, top story up there. Prior to the earthquakes, the uh, people came in by a chopper. They can land in the Hagley Park over on the right-hand side, and then the ambulance had to pick them up and take them in there. And that's got a, uh, a honey pad up, up, up on the top. Just on the left-hand side, coming to the wee brick building here, this is the nurses' chapel. The nurses have lost their life in the First World War, after the First World War that was, that was built. And then here's our, here's our main hospital here. The orange building with orange round it straight in front of you here. This is uh, the, the new outpatients department out of the hospital. The next grey building coming up on the left is also part of the hospital. And then on the right hand side, if you're into the upmarket cars, the Porsches and the BMWs, etc., Audis. You look to your left, see how this building's been constructed? With those cross beams down the bottom. That's supposedly makes it stay better. And if you have a look to your left here now, just past that, this hole in the ground here on the left, the work that's going on in there. I don't know what they're building in there. It's costing a fortune to put that together. And we're going to go left at the next set of lights up here. The thing is, when we go around the corner, uh, on your right hand side, once we straighten up around the corner, there's a marble wall. This is the marble wall to the, uh, commemorate the loss of life of those 185 people. Now there's two quite unique things about the marble wall. One, the, the marble wall, one, the names, most marble based uh, commemorative walls, uh, the names are in alphabetical order. Well, is this all in not in alphabetical order? They can come up, trust me, so if you lost your life with a group of friends or a group of area somewhere other, in a building or something, those three or four or five people to, are together. So if you're looking for a, a friend's name, um, it takes you a little bit longer to find it. The other thing that you find is also, they've what they've done is they've um, looked up with a lot of different nationalities of people. Um, like there's a Japanese person, their name is in English, and then it's in the Japanese country after that. So it's very, very well done. And it looks down onto the Avon River, so if we get around here, So there's the marble wall over there on the right, on the right hand side now, the other side of the river. On the, on the right hand side, the uh, black building here um, with the cross beams. This is one of our uh, major uh, architectural firms in Christchurch, Warren and Marnie. So we believe now we live in the safest city in the world. That the new buildings that are going up, the way they've been constructed, won't fall over. And the buildings that stayed up, obviously, in the last uh, episodes, uh, won't fall over either. So it's, it's all good. Now going left at the next set of lights, and um, just on the right hand side as we go around the corner is um, the Ducks Deluxe, which was a vegetarian restaurant. Uh, a lot of the youngies used to go there with regard to the bands that played in there, etc. And that's been sitting there on your right hand side like that for the last um, since 22nd of February 2011. On the right hand side coming up here, this is this is our art centre. Now this is a huge sort of gothic style building. Um, there's been $290 million spent on putting that back to use with the skills. Around the other side it's not actually complete yet, it's fully, fully completed. But there's a lot of little cafes, cinemas, uh, unique little shops in, in that uh, you can wander around a lot of that place, it's very good. 
been ahead of us here is our botanical. So uh, the art centre again on our right hand side. Botanical gardens on our left, as I said. And coming up on it, coming up on our left hand side is um, the museum and our front <coughs> left over there. So it's got nothing to do really with the construction of the building. What it's got to do with is the quality of the land underneath. through the main uh, the entrance gates when we go through these lights here on the left. It looks like uh, something out of a Hobbit movie, doesn't it? If you want to see your boy there, um, he's a day pupil, it'll cost you about $32,000 a year. If you want to send him as a uh, boarder, then we add another $20,000 under that. So you wouldn't want twin boys, would you? Really? So that's Hankley Park on your left there. We're going now down into Arbar Street. <coughs> now one thing I didn't tell you, which John didn't mention, see that grey building where you're sitting on the bus? I'll mention it a couple more times. See that grey building straight ahead down there on the right hand side? Probably 600 yards further down. What happened? It was, it was a four side bar building. It was an office block and some of the steel wells came adrift. The earthquake, but there was a gentleman that worked in that building and he was a mountaineer type and he had the ropes in his office and he abseiled the people out of that building down the side of the building. Now you could say, I don't know whether I could handle that too much, but if you were stuck in a building that afternoon where there was aftershocks going on, I think getting on the end of a rope you might have had nightmares later on, but uh, getting out would have been the key thing. Now at least in Christ Square in Christchurch, Ridley Square is actually Cathedral Square. So he hasn't got a park named after him like the rest of them. On your uh, left and right here, these two creek buildings, new since the earthquake, and not built up to seven stories in height. Just through the intersection here, on the right hand side, this is the old Cannery Provincial Chambers. People say glass doesn't go good in earthquakes. The glass is still in all those windows. It's, it's damaged. It's, it's on the back burner to be repaired. Crossing the Avon River here again. And our front right is our new convention centre, Tapai, which in English means a uh, gathering place. It takes up the whole block. And then on the left here, this is Victoria Square, originally Market Square, where the Maori and the um, settlers did their trading. And then on um, the left hand side here, right here now, you see the statue of Queen Victoria. And supposedly Queen Victoria was the only statue in the city that didn't fall over in the earthquake. So, depending where you are on the bus now, this is a grey building straight across the intersection here on your right. <coughs> this is the one they abseiled out of. Now, coming up down here, another 150 yards down here on your right, is Lee Street called. Uh, the Regent Street, built in 1931, of Spanish style construction. Just have a look. It's called a mirrored street. In other words, the buildings on the left hand side mirror the ones on the right hand side. The, the tram goes down through here. turn right here onto uh, Manchester Street and over on your front left over there across there there's actually the Margaret Baby Children's Play Area. It cost the City Council 20 million to put the thing in, buy the land and put the thing in place. Margaret Baby was a Kiwi lady and she wrote children's books. And I lost track. When she came back she said where are the children? I said oh, out there somewhere. 
which didn't give me a lot of brownie points, but I said, oh, look, I've got a good idea. If we wait to the end of the day, there has to be two kids left over. So, which, which I don't say. So, so if you look to your, if you look to your right hand side here now, you see one of the, half of one of the pieces of artwork, that little girl in the pink dressing gown, is on a thing called hide and seek, is that thing in the other part that you can't see. Is, uh, but that little girl is the artist's um, granddaughter. Sort of skate park type thing on the left there for the kids. Further on down here. Now the couple of pieces of artwork on the right here now, you've got to row, row, row your boat and uh, forbidden fruit. <coughs> on, your, on your left over there, at the back, they're all new, new apartments over there, block back. And uh, they're trying to bring people back a wee bit closer to the city. They don't want Christchurch to be like a donut. Bacon in the middle and everybody down the outside. Coming up on the right hand side, just past the, um, just across this intersection, this was another one of the Anglican churches. Um, it's not being put back together as a church. It's being put back, the gentleman next door that owns this little green building here on the right hand side, Paddy McNaughton. That was one of the oldest buildings in the city. It was in another area of the city. And uh, that gentleman purchased it for one dollar. But have a look up on your right at that building up on your right hand side there now. It's still sitting there. That's what earthquakes do to buildings. You'll see that again, we'll come past here again. Just back. Uh, okay. On the right hand side coming up here is um, this multi-story building on the right. This is the Muse Hotel. Interesting thing about this, it was an office block but it's now a hotel. Each, um, each Each room in the hotel has been um, furnished by a different uh, different firm, so every, every room is different in the hotel. Now as we go through these lights straight ahead here, over on your front right, about 100 yards down over there on a bit of an angle, you won't be able to see it, some of you from where you're sitting, but there's some containers in front of a, a, a facade of a building over there. And there was about a dozen areas of the city that had, had containers in front of them like that, after the earthquake, so you could drive past. We're going to go left on this corner up here where the containers are over on your right hand side. If you look back at the containers, you'll see the containers are not hard up against the um, hard up against the facade we're trying to save. The idea is if there is a shake and it tries to fall down, it drops down in the gap and doesn't come across the road. And that's the only area in the city now that's still got containers uh, in front of it. So I don't know why they're saving that's the old facade of the old Odeon Theatre. Now those containers will either have rocks in them or sand and you can see the containers are strapped together. Now what, what we're going to see down here, last year when the tours with the, the cruise ships came in we didn't come down here because there's nothing to see, it was all below ground. So our rugby stadium, Lancaster Park, got destroyed in the earthquake. So now we're building another stadium right smack dab in the uh, centre of the city. It's costing $683 million. And it's going to be 30,000 people under cover. <coughs> it'll be used for rugby and for um, concerts. So the stadium is called Tikaha, which means strength, strength or strong. After the, uh, after the earthquakes, you know, when you're going around and you've got with friends or they, when you leave them or they leave you, you say, be good, drive carefully, look after yourself. And there was a statement that came out after the earthquakes where, um, and they printed t-shirts with the words Kia Kaha on them. And that means be strong. And so a lot of us purchased it. So this is where the stadium's going. This is right smack dab in the middle of the city. John was saying, you know, we discussed that for a long time, it's only been going for 18 months that has, um, and 
began with the church in the square and it was toing and froing with that where they should start putting it back together. And so that's probably there's been a delay in those sort of things, which is a bit unfortunate. However, we're on the right track now. Now coming up down here past this building which has got the scaffolding on it, there's an open green space and that's where the CTV building was, where the 115 lost their life. And this will stay just here on the left hand side now. There's a little memorial garden or area. Now if you swing your heads to the right, this is the new cardboard cathedral. If we go across the front of the cathedral, you'll see um, some cardboard cylinders. There's 49 of those cylinders go along each side of the church holding it up. And there's 49 uh, stained glass windows in the front. Now I don't know whether you know the significance of the number 49. It's got some religious connotation, but it also means new beginnings. On the left hand side, this is Latimer Square, I told you about Bishop Cranmer and Bishop Latimer. And this, there was a triage centre set up here, right on the left hand side, because the, the building was just down the street there. And the other part of Latimer Square here had uh, the rescue rescue teams were in there. But just to swing your head to the right, have a look at the name of the bar that's on that hotel there, what's it called? Bloody Mary's. One of the mysteries of life, I reckon, is when you've seen around Hackney Park and you see here now on your left hand side, 70% of the buildings in the city fell over, 8 to 10,000 houses have been pulled down, but the trees stayed up. <coughs> obviously, here on the um, left hand side now, obviously, some new apartments or some sort going up. Over there on, uh, you pass this building here, over there on your front left where that uh, orange shade cloth is over there, that's the Barbara Baby Park over there again. Now, are there any Americans on board at all? No? Yeah, okay. Coming up on the right hand side down here then, right on the corner, we're going to go left of these lights. There's a memorial here to the Twin Towers, 9-11. Our fire station is just down the street, and we're going to help out over there. So that, that steel is right up on the corner, here, comes from the Twin Tower. We understand that the only other memorial to the Twin Towers outside of the use of A is uh, in Israel. <coughs> Coming up on the right here, right up on the corner on your right where all these trees are, another stone Anglican church in here, which in the same way as all the other Anglican churches built in that sort of uh, style. But if you look hard back on your right as we go across either section, the only thing left standing was the wooden bell tower. So there's the wooden bell tower still standing. These are new buildings left and right here. Uh, they're private medicals. See the empty land around the place? Obviously, you um, you own a building, it's a piece of land, you can build a building, but basically you've got to have tenants to make a dollar. And so uh, but a lot of the people who are in those buildings have re relocated or closed down completely. That is, uh, that's right on the edge of the Avon River, which will cross just like after we pass it. Anything near the river didn't go too good. It cost 174 million to uh, put that back together. So when the when the Catholics first arrived in the city after the Anglicans were here, they said, "Where can we build our church?" And they made them build it right out on the edge of the city. But we were coming up here now on the left-hand side. These cars are. Um, the uh, Catholics have purchased this piece of land here. They're going to put their church in here now because the other one out on the other side, out on the outskirts of the city had to be taken down. The interesting thing about this is they, they're all ready to go apparently, but some of the local parishioners of the Catholic Church have taken a petition, I think you'd call it, to the Pope saying, should we be spending a lot of money on, on a building when perhaps the money could be spent uh, in other areas? So what action is another two or three things to show you before we double back to drop the people off that want to hop off. 
Thanks to our convention tip on the right hand side, which we saw before from the other side. Takes up a complete block. A new library to run that. So this is the cathedral they're putting it back together. I know there's a couple on board that uh, were here last year to see what the, where we've done nothing, and now they can see that. How it's all going to come together, I no way If you have a look to your left, you'll see this big mural on the side of the Novotel. Got the room here. And if you look straight in front of you, you see that girl's face on, yeah. lady's face on the wall in front of you, on the brick wall there? When they brought these street artists in, they said to him, you know, he did different art around the city. He went into a cafe and he had a cup of coffee, and that lady served him the coffee. And then he painted her face on the wall, and then she was getting comments from her girlfriend saying, hey, listen, your face, your face is on the wall in the city. She said, no, it's not. But that's what he did. So it's her face. She didn't even know that was happening. So we're going to go past here, we're going to go right here just on the Manchester Street again. We're on Worcester. We're we on Worcester Street. We're on Worcester Street at the moment. I'm going to read English name. So as I said, the church here is not a church anymore. It's going to be part of Paddy McNaughton's. And they'll have So you get to see this this old dungy of a building here on the left, on the right hand side. The, the city council have got a list and it's called the Dirty 30. In other words, there's 30 buildings around the city like that. And very shortly they're going to come in and pull them down and send you, whether it's to do with landlords or no insurance or whatever, but they're going to send the bill to somebody to, um, that they think that's uh, So these are some, on the right hand, left hand side, so these are new flats that are coming in a bit closer to the centre of the city. Um, flats that are closer to apartments closer to the centre of the city. Some of the some of the new tenants have made comments about um, uh, the noise from the, um, the nightclubs is, is, is not too good. So I don't know how it's going to work. Um, so we're going to go right up right up at the next corner, but that's that news hotel there again on the right hand side. So just, just as we straighten up here, these two buildings on the left hand side here coming up. Um, these just uh, where the truck is on the left here. These had containers in front of them a couple of months ago. Obviously they've been strengthened now and consequently um, they're open for um, occupation. But these had the containers about seven high in front of here. On the left here, this is our new bus exchange. A bit flash for Christchurch, it's a bit like an airport terminal. the intersection here on the, on that, uh, on the left front. That's a new building that was uh, completed not long before the pandemic started. In there there's a Hoyt's Theatre complex. There's about eight picture theatres in there and there's supposedly going to be 11 or 12 eateries as they called it in there, cafes etc. And opened really as far as that was concerned just before or not long before the pandemic struck. 
we went into a lockdown, and as you know, we had a pretty long lockdown here in uh, New Zealand. And all those places basically went broke. Yeah. And just a couple of things to see down here. Um, on the left-hand side, on the side of our new administration building, is um, this artwork here on the left. But look over to the right hand side here now, just coming up about 50 yards further down. Have a look at this artwork on the side of this building down here. And tell me, is that a flat wall or a wall that juts in and out or what? side here again is that memorial wall just coming up that you saw before the Avon River again crossing for the upteenth time. So just round this corner um, Stephen will pull up and uh, those of you who want to hop off you can hop off fine thank you. And again just Check the time of the last shuttle so that you know. Yeah, perhaps catch the second of the last shuttle, not the last one. Okay, so we're getting right up where the Right up where the people are here, so that's all good for you. They'll advise you if you want to go somewhere, they've got maps for you, and they'll tell you uh, what you're looking for. Thank you. 